Hi, I'm Mike Meyer, and whenever I'm here in London, I stop over to AS Andover's. They've got all your side supplies that you need. They have knowledgeable staff. And they're ready to serve you at any time. In fact, we're doing these informative videos on how to get started on being a sign painter. If you're old or new, they can help you out. Hey, let's go look at that now. Come on. What I'm going to show is something real basic to start off with. Two different ways. This is how I was taught in school, and this works really good. And in our workshops, we get more into how we lay everything out. But you just need a clear ruler like this. You go along here, you hold it to the top, and this creates it. I'm just going to lay out a couple letters to show you different ways that we're going to paint. Here's how I find my stroke width. I use tick marks on this clear angle. There's my stroke width. I go straight down and I use what's called a pivot point. And I line it up. There's your A. We'll also use this as our pounce pattern. There are different layout books that you can get from handovers that show different ways of traditional sign making. There are many ways and in these workshops you can exercise how things are done. That's just one of the ways. So, Just your basic block letters is what we're going to go over today. good. After we've laid out our lettering, it's time to make a pounce pattern. We've laid it out. You should put something soft behind it. And this is what's called a pounce wheel. This is a number 12. They sell every kind you can think of from Griffold here at Handover's number 12, 11, 10, and 9. And here's how you do it. You push down rigorously over your lettering, creating holes. This is going to transfer our lettering. You notice the holes. You can also take sandpaper and sand it so the holes are more open. And then your next step is to get a and see pounce pad. In the old days we just used socks. You can use blue or black or white depending on your background that your lettering is. Here's how you fill it. Put the cover back on and you're ready to start it. This is where the term pounce comes from. You're pouncing it on. There's your lettering. I'll lay out another letter and show you how we transfer with chalk. We're showing the transfer of your lettering with chalk. I've drawn this G. And the step to do that is you take a black background sign. First you chalk the back, and 
put your sign down and here we go. It's been chalked. I'm just going to push with the end of my brush. And it'll be very accurate. Some don't do it because they think you've already drawn it once. It's a waste of time, but I think it's worth it because it's very accurate and you've got to go over it anyway when you do a pulse pattern. And there you have it. That's using the chalk. And then you get your paint out and you're ready to go. And one of the advantages of using these patterns, if you have multiple graphics that you have to do, instead of laying every one out, you already have a pattern. You hang on to those patterns and you do it so it saves you money, saves you time, so it's ready to go. We've done it with truck lettering where we've had the same, they get a new truck, you just get the pattern out, you pounce it on, and you're ready to go. Pamela Anderson running when she was in Baywatch. <laughs>